Hi, I'm Dr. Rich. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Very Nice Smile Dental. Hi, today I'm going to talk about implants. Dental implants, not the other kind of implant. So in simple terms, an implant is a tooth root replacement. Before we start discussing uh, what a dental implant is, first let's review the parts of a tooth. So a tooth has two main parts. There's the top part of the tooth, the part you see when you smile. Dentists call that part the crown of the tooth. The other part of the tooth uh, is the part you can't see, which is the root of the tooth. That's the part that's down in your jawbone, under your gums, and it helps anchor the tooth in. The root of the tooth is very important. It holds up the rest of the tooth. It's kind of like the foundation of the house. It holds the house up even though you don't see it. Since the implant replaces the root of the tooth, the implant becomes the foundation of either a single tooth, a bridge, a foundation for a snap-in overdenture, even a foundation for a whole set of teeth. So this is an implant. And how does it work? Uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Have you ever tried to hang a picture up on a sheetrock wall, but there was no stud? Uh, behind the sheetrock where you wanted to hang the photo. So what do you do? You have to get a, sh a wall anchor. You drill a hole in the sheetrock, you insert the wall anchor, and then you can attach a screw to the wall anchor, which you can then hang your picture off of. An implant works kind of like that, except for a couple differences. Put a screw into wood or into sheetrock, generally the longer the screw, the better it holds. Your jawbone, though, is not made out of wood, it's not made out of sheetrock. So, in your jawbone, you don't need a really long in screw, a long implant. You, in your jawbone, quarter inch implant is more than enough to support a tooth or any type of bridge. Over time, your jawbone actually gets stronger around the implant and holds the implant in even better, as long as you keep it nice and clean and everything's healthy. I made another video called Why Is My Denture Getting Loose where I kind of go into this uh, topic in a little bit more depth. So here's a close-up of a couple different types of implants. Uh, I have them next to a dime just to give you an idea as to the size of them. As you can see, they're pretty small. So the implant to the right is what's called a, uh, is a screw type implant. It actually has a thread. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. It's got a thread on its body which uh, helps hold it in place uh, in the jaw. The implant to the left is a different uh, brand of implant called a Bicon implant. Uh, that one's a little bit different. Rather than having screw threads on it, it just has fins. Uh, so those little lines you see on it, those are just kind of parallel fins. So that one doesn't get screwed into the jaw. That just uh, gets placed into the jaw and then uh, the jawbone grows tight against it and locks it into place. Okay, so once the implant is in your mouth, how does the dentist attach a tooth to it or a set of teeth to it? So the Bicon implant uh, just uses what's called a press fit. So the post is perfectly smooth and it matches the inside of the implant perfectly. So we just take the implant, take the post, Place it down into the implant. Press usually, usually uh, just have the person bite down on a Q-tip, cotton Q-tip, uh, and that locks it in place. And so now you have a uh, one-piece tooth and post attached to the implant, which is in the in the jaw, and that stays in place. And you can chew on it. The other style of implant. Uh, is a little bit different. This one actually has uh, screw threads inside. So the post that gets made for this implant gets attached with a little screw. Uh, and that's how it stays together. You got to actually tighten it. A um, little uh, hex screwdriver generally and a little torque wrench so to make sure you tighten it properly. And then usually a uh, tooth goes on top of that post. Snap-in overdentures have special factory-made posts that the denture snaps onto. 
I'm going to cover that in a separate video. So today I explained what an implant is. Please leave any questions or comments below and please subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. And remember, only you can prevent cavities.